hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to a christian priest who says that jesus was a transgender now when i saw this <laughs> i was i was shocked like i was speechless i still i'm speechless because how can you say jesus was a transgender especially as a priest like the disrespect the blasphemy it's crazy crazy how can you say that as a priest <laughs> I cannot believe what my eyes is seeing. Guys, let's get into the video because I speechless is the word. Speechless is the word. Let's get into the video, shall we? Oh, but before we do, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so that you get notified each time I post. And also make sure to drop your comments in the comment section down below of your opinion on the video what you thought of it yeah let's get into it shall we i am not very excited for today's video by the way because this is very shocking i am shocked but <sighs> i'm shocked that i'm just i'm flabbergasted that's the word i am flabbergasted but let's watch it i am just hoping it is really not what i'm thinking i'm just hoping like the title is just deceiving people because this is such a disgrace. This is so wrong and so utterly disrespectful. But yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, so if we think of Jesus as um, the one who reveals God, uh, I was really struck by Angela saying earlier that God is queer. And uh, I, I think as humans, we have a tendency to construct God in our own image rather than to recognize that we are made in the image of God. And therefore, the dominant expression of humanity ends up writing itself onto God and making that God. Uh, and I think in, in the story of Jesus, the stories of Jesus' life, we, we find that being broken down um, in, in some quite radical ways, which is then having the knock-on effect of altering the way we understand who God is in relation to humanity. So I think Jesus um, transgenders himself on a number of occasions. Um, I, I think, you know, just, just a little phrase where Jesus is lamenting over Jerusalem, longing to gather Jerusalem as a mother hen gathers her chicks. Um, I think if you look at um, the foot washing from John's Gospel, foot washing elsewhere in both Old and New Testament, that it's consistently done by, by women. And yet Jesus takes that on. People often cast that as being the servant's role. It was the woman's role. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Jesus does it and becomes the woman at that point. Um, and I think, you know, we've observed that, you know, he's unmarried, he's childless, he defies gender and sexual norms of his day. He's known for associating with those whose own sexual history or gender identity may be ambiguous. So I think in Jesus, we've got a revelation of God as encompassing far more than what historically and recently at least um, Christians have tended to construct God as being and I think there's a bit of an antidote to uh, heteronormative idolatry in in the story of Jesus yeah absolutely now I was just gonna say okay maybe he didn't mean it in that way but then you can see at the back that the LGBTQ plus the flag is there and it's like, where do you actually stand? You see, this is one of my problems with Christianity. Christianity does not have a leg to stand on because it is always changing. Now, when he's now when he said Jesus transgenders himself in number of ways, this is what I initially thought. I initially thought, oh, maybe he's trying to say that Jesus's nature changes quite a lot. You know, from being God to being the Holy Spirit to being Jesus. That's what I thought. But with everything put together, like, you are clearly trying to say that Jesus is... Astaghfirullah. 
that is all I have to say. Astaghfirullah. How can you sit there and say such? And the people that were sitting around did not even open your mouth to say nothing. Just sat there and accepted what he had to say. The disrespect. I, you know what I have come to terms with? Not to terms with, but I have come to notice. That a lot of people do not care about God. A lot of people do not care about God. They use religion as like, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? But they use religion to identify themselves. Oh yes, I am a Christian. Oh yes, I am a Hindu. Oh yes, I am a Muslim. It's just the name. But a lot of people deep down do not have that. They don't fear God. They don't fear God. And <laughs> fearing God is one of the key things that I think we all need to look out for in one another. The fear of God. You have not like, oh, you have to be frightened of God. But you know, your actions, you have to be careful with your actions. That's where the fear of God comes in. You're cautious with the things that you do, knowing that God is all knowing, God is all seeing. But today's society, a lot of people do not fear God. And as a priest, this is very disappointing. If you're teaching this, what are you? What else are you teaching in that church of yours? Yeah, you even have the flag. But I mean, Christianity has changed. Now it's acceptable. So I can't really say much on that because now it's a part of their belief. And it's shocking. Shocking, mm, Yes, shocking. It's still shocking. I cannot believe it. The disrespect, the blasphemy. How can you blatantly disrespect Jesus like that? Come on. First they call him God. Now he's a transgender. Hey, Astaghfirullah. <laughs> Astaghfirullah, I cannot believe the disrespect. Yo, I cannot believe the disrespect. And you know what the crazy thing is as well? If you are saying Jesus is a transgender, you are also saying that Jesus is God in the Christian, in the Christian belief. You are also saying that God is a transgender. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. You know, him saying this, he is also saying that God is a transgender. Because what do they believe? Jesus is God. So if Jesus is God, that means God is a transgender. Hey... Ya Allah. <laughs> hey. The disrespect. The disrespect. I am too stunned. I am too stunned by the disrespect. So you're calling God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, a transgender. I want to know where he got his thinking from where he got this belief from where he got this ideology from and to say it so proudly unless i'm misunderstanding what he was saying like there was no way that i could be misunderstanding what he's saying because if you look at the video you can see at the back that there is the lgbtq plus the flag is there inside a church the holy place of god that is all my my thoughts on the video guys leave your comments in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves bye